Gewude. So today, something cool. <laughs> This is a low security lock. This is the, what's it called, hip lock, uh, Z lock, something like this. This basically is like a cable tie. It's not fine, it's like 40 centimeters long, 42 centimeters long. You can plug it in there and then you can take the key to, you see it's a high security key, but you just disengage the teeth and then you can open it. So you see it's very, very um, low security level but really easy to use and very practical for if you, for example, want to lock your helmet or something else for a short amount of time. Um, normal zip ties won't open, obviously, and they just have teeth on one side of the, of the belt or whatever. This one has them on both, which is obviously better, and you can open it with the key, as you saw. The third thing that's better about this than normal zip ties is that this actually has a steel core. You can see the silver shiny thing here if you focus and as you see with the tiny holes in there, I hope you can see it, there is steel all running through. Here you see the silver shiny thing until the end and then this is probably for alignment. So this has a steel core, so you can take your knife, but you won't be able to cut this easily. You need a little more sophisticated tools or like the fork to open it. So that's nice. That's something to throw in your backpack and to take with you. It's like 40 centimeters, I think I already said that. But the problem is, with this is just used occasionally, you have to put the key on your key ring. And I don't want to do this because I don't want to have a cluttered keyring. So I fired up the 3D printer and I printed something like this. Because, um, actually before I show it to you, the coolest thing would be if the designer had created like a little rail and made the key a little shorter so that you can plug the key in here. You see, there should be room enough. This will um, this actually widens here and if you like add like a half a centimeter here you would be able, or I can imagine that it would be easy to just lock the key in here with some kind of mechanism, but they didn't do this and so uh, I have a reason to make a video. <laughs> so basically what I designed is like one centimeter, two centimeter of two rails, one small for the, for the lock and the big one for the key. How to use it, you ask, thank you for asking. You just insert the key up here, it, it holds, and then you just slide it over, you see, so you come up until here, and then you see it widens, and so it stops naturally. And now it's, now you have the key with you, and it doesn't get loose by itself. So that's really nice. Oh, it's perfect. I can have, actually it came with two. If you like, want to extend it, you can do like this here and this there, and then you're good to go. And yeah, that's it. They are about like 10, 10 bucks each. I put the STL in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye. So still not sponsored, but if you want to have a look at the, here, You can go just pause and have a look at it. Different colors, two keys, two bands like 18 bucks, two teeth like not secure. How to use it, do it like this and like this and you're fine. Try to lock your tent with it or your car. Maybe someone won't steal it. Okay, basically it can lock everything. And if you like, you can add as many locks as you like by daisy chaining them. So like this. And you can actually lock your hill or your mountain, depending how many locks you want to buy. I actually had some silver filament left. And so it's almost perfect. It's just look the reflection. It's so nice, it's so nice. 
and I had to pay tribute to the cutting cords again. Mm -hmm.